Mm -hmm. It's the Morning Cryptos, and uh, my name is Mark Shepard. This is day 16 of my next 90-day challenge to go deep into the world of cryptos. And speaking of deep, it looks like Bitcoin has gone off the deep end here. Huh. Man, I guess my career as a uh, predictor of crypto prices is kind of in the trash can right now. Ugh. Oh, well. Well, let's look and see what's going on. Let's start the music. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is not what was supposed to happen. What was supposed to happen was Bitcoin was supposed to go up from here. It was supposed to go up. That was my whole thing. I saw this wave pattern and it was gradually getting bigger and it was going to go up and uh, everybody's going to get rich and it seems to have gone down. Uh, however, before I look at the news, there's one consolation and that it went down and didn't go quite as far <laughs> as this previous drop, uh, which was a couple of days before Christmas, the Thursday before Christmas. We had this big drop, recovered from that, and now we're right back there. So, <clears throat> just in case... You want to pick up some Bitcoin cheap, today might be a good day. I, however, am not sure I will ever buy Bitcoin again. I feel so humiliated. I was calling for it to rise, and it fell. See, I don't know what I'm talking about, people. Don't listen to me. <laughs> um, so, uh, we're going to look at everything, but I want to check the news quick and see if there's anything that I need to know. Like, is there any FUD that caused this? Bitcoin's price just dropped over $1,300 in 1 1.5 hours. Bitcoin price drops 10% in an hour. Bitcoin a fairy tale or an alternative to fiat money? That's a whole different story. Interesting. All right, so Bitcoin news. Let's see what Bitcoin price has to say. Is there anything different? Uh, Bitcoin price, Bitcoin, plunge after talk of, uh, let's see what that's all about. Bitcoin price, latest cryptocurrencies, including Ethereum plunge after talk of ban on trading in South Korea. Uh, wasn't that like a couple of days ago? Like, wasn't that a couple of days ago? Or now they, some Korean ministers are suggesting it should be banned entirely. And they're exactly the Korean ministers who wanted to buy some cheap. Now they'll change their position and they'll get rich on the backs of the people. <laughs> I don't know. But people, you know what? Shit like this happens. And this is why I get nervous when I take my profits into Bitcoin. That's why I don't like it. Uh, but it's cryptos. Wake up. This is cryptos. Risk. It's called volatility. And the fact that it is volatile means you can still buy some today at $11,890. When yesterday it was it was like close to 14000 You could get yourself a bargain. It's on sale. Bitcoin's not going away, people. I spent the day listening to Anton Anton. I spent the day listening to Andreas Antonopoulos yesterday while I was doing some other work. And uh, Bitcoin's here to stay, people. So get yourself some Bitcoin at a great price and tell us all later how much money you made. But right now, I don't have anything to buy it with because everything else seems to have dropped as well. So let's look. Let's go to a one-day chart and let's, let's grind through. You know, I don't know why Bitcoin's going down. It's, it's only just way up. Let me entertain you with my, with my chart moving abilities here. So, ultimately, it's really not out of the pattern. Um, you know, we have, we had some rising bottoms here, but it's really just has dropped into this 
zone here. And this is kind of classic FUD. Looks like classic FUD stuff going on. So anyway, if you believe in Bitcoin, if you want to get some, might not be a bad time to get some. It has really corrected, and now it has room again to move up into the stratosphere. Or it might go sideways for a couple of years. But I have a feeling it's still going to play in this channel. That's really my, that's my, that's what I'm saying, all right? And I may not be right yet, but I'll be right eventually. It's either going up, going sideways, or going down. But I've spoken. The Oracle of Albany. Woo! So anyway, we don't know what's going on, but um, be careful out there, people. I'm going to grind through these quick because i got to see what else What else is a disaster. Oh, my God, Bitcoin Cash. Oh, oh, why did I have to do this this morning? Why did I have to look at this this morning? Oh, oh there goes my theory that it was going to work its way into a little pattern and then lift, and I was going to get my get my money back at 3400 Oh, oh. But see, this is what happens, and it's actually not that bad at a, a shot, because look, it's gone back down to support. These markets have a mind of their own, all right? So there's the range now that we can play with with Bitcoin Cash, and this is something I would buy some if any of my others were up, but I think they're all doing this. So this is probably going to bounce back up. We'll see. Um... You know, we still have this possible wedge, and sometimes there's a drop below. Uh, but I'm just going to grind through on the one-day chart if I can. Bitcoin gold, right down to the line. Now, this, to me, would be a buy. Bitcoin gold has come down to the line, and you could buy it here. Boom. It will go back up. You know it will, because no one's paying much attention to it. <laughs> but you could buy it here. And ride it back up. Make yourself a little dough. Not a bad idea. Let's see what Dash is doing. Dash down. But, look. It's still it's right back at support. Right? Uh, me and my mouse. Okay. Right back at support here. Oh, stop. Alright, so uh, i got to get some more Java. Okay, this is the stuff. Do not take this personally. Do not do anything. Just chill. Don't don't panic. Sell. Just relax. <laughs> and we'll see if it bounces back because it has come down almost to the uh, we're on the one day chart. So this would be the hundred hour no the hundred day. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> it came almost down to the one hundred day. But I'll, if you also look at the one day chart on the RSI, it hasn't even touched the third yet. I didn't look at that with Bitcoin Gold. On the one day, Dash, uh, Bitcoin Gold has not touched the 30. What about Bitcoin? Bitcoin has not yet, I mean, it did back here. It hasn't touched the 30. Uh, so it could go down more, right? Isn't that what they say? Isn't that what the RSI says? Who knows? I don't know. But I'm trying to learn, people. Right in front of you, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing to not know everything, but I guess I just have to be humbled by my ignorance and go, okay, I didn't expect that. But then again, that's how it always happens, right? The market moves in a way that you don't expect. And so that's why it's the best spiritual practice ever, because you have to have non-attachment. You have to go, okay, this is, this is reality. I can't make it go up by my thoughts, but I can change my thoughts around it going down so that it doesn't ruin my day. All right, so anyway, Dash is down to $777, and I would expect some buy some buy energy to start coming into this market. It's right now at 6.26 a.m., so probably in about two hours, probably by the time this is actually uploaded, there will be a recovery. Same with EOS. We have a nice, beautiful flash crash down to 10 there goes my long-term holding. That's why I like taking profits when it's way up. I want to grab my profits and run because it goes up and it comes back. It goes up and it comes back. Oh, boy. Let's see what Ethereum Classic's doing. Same deal. Let's see what Ethereum's doing. Same deal. 
everything has had a little bit of the wind knocked out of its sails. Oh, excuse me, Iota. Uh, actually, not bad. Iota's holding pretty well. Litecoin. Do, 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 do. Boom. Ouch. Neo. Neo needs to come back. Come on. Neo's gone so up. Oh, it's come down and popped back right up. Oh, jeez. Look at this whisker. Came down to 119. Now it's back up to 156 already. So there, there's the bounce. The bounce is already here, people. Oh, me say go. Bounce down. Back. It'll bounce back. This is going to be one of those long wicks. Uh, quantum, same deal. Boom. Good time to get some quantum. Damn. I've just got to keep some U.S. dollar tether. Or Yeah, but see, the problem is, if you're going to buy it with Bitcoin, your Bitcoin just went down. So you got to buy it with something that hasn't gone down. Right? That's why the U.S. dollar tether seems to be a good strategy, but you can't buy everything with it. Right? I don't think quantum you can buy it yet. Um, XMR Monero. Boom. Same deal. Uh, let's see. Zcash. Boom. What are, let's see Zcash against... Oh, this is Zcash against Bitcoin. Okay. Zcash against Bitcoin because Bitcoin went down too. It's not looking that bad. So that's, that's another shift is that, okay, it looks bad against the U.S. dollar... But since Bitcoin just did the same damn thing, Zcash, let's go back to the Bitcoin chart, not that big a deal. So torque your brain around that. Let me look at my uh, let me look at my Cardano here against Bitcoin. Not bad. Come on. Jeez. Not bad. Against Bitcoin, it just dropped to the uh, 25 day average. Not a bad deal. Let's look at against US dollar tether. And of course, it actually didn't drop that bad. Uh, of course, this chart is a little squishy. Not bad. It did come down to this other support line. Not too bad. Let's have a look at this on a one hour chart. It did fall below my trend line. It's quite well below all of the hourly averages on the one hour chart. Um, not a bad time to get you some more. But like I'm in the place where like what would I sell? There's nothing of mine that's up so that I could get some. And again, I got to build up a war chest. I just gotta, but I can't, I just, I can't seem to save money. I don't know how it works. Every time I have a little money, I want to buy more cryptos with it. But I need to save it until we have a flash crash and then buy cryptos with it. But you don't know when you're going to have a flash crash. So that's, that's all about being ready. And we have on the, uh, on the hourly chart with Cardano here, we do, we do have a nice solid dip below the 30 and a pop back up, um, this would be a good time to get yourself some Cardano. I'm in at a dollar. I'm in at 75 cents. Uh, I do have, I have some Dash and Ethereum. Maybe I should move that over and get some Cardano with it. Huh. I don't know. But I think we're going to be okay. But this is kind of a flash crashy kind of day. That's it, people. That's all I got to say is uh hang in there today you're gonna be okay let's uh this is bitcoin's one hour chart and on the one hour chart with bitcoin we did go nice and nice chunk down into the below 30 on the rsi and we are below all of the moving averages so not an expected thing but get in now if you want some so i'm gonna just finish this video, put it up, and if it's helpful to you guys, great. Uh, if not, hopefully by the end of the day, we'll be back. So we'll see. Uh, and remember, don't take it personally, okay? You're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Why does it work out better than you could possibly imagine? All right, so that's it for now. I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace, grooviness, over and out. Thank you. If you like this, please subscribe. Give me that thumbs up.
ring that little bell to get notifications and share this with your beloved friends and relatives. <laughs> Have a good day. I will see you in the next one. I actually did a kind of short one today. That's, I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself. Let me stop talking so it can steep so it can stay short. Okay, good. Stop talking, Mark. Start the music. Okay. Mm -hmm.